I think they're ready. Oh, gorgeous. Oh my gosh. We're working hard today. <laughs> we really are. <laughs> so that you know whether these easy hacks are worth working hard. But actually, you know what? It looks like a fun time. It really does. If you just ignore the puddles of grease around it. It's got a little bit more butteriness to it. Mm. The butteriness. <laughs> <laughs> How do people do this without the peanuts falling off? This is what we're here to find out. Uh, it's just like in the TikTok. Obviously. Just don't look in the back. So it's time for TikTok again. Time for TikTok. TikTok on the clock. Though this one was harder because my TikTok algorithm's all messed up. Honestly, mine too. I'm getting way too many um, farm, farm boy and President's Choice hauls. Oh, I thought you <laughs> meant like farm boys. No. Like, no, I was like, the what store. is going on? Just like when you say Trader Joe's, you don't mean a trade that trades. A judge. I mean, that's not quite the same as a farm what? boy saying it. The point is, yeah. we did find some food. Some yeah. recipes that we want to try to test. Yeah. We have four. Yeah. So we have loaded breakfast biscuits. Or <laughs> lots of lots of Pillsbury stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's not it. Loaded breakfast biscuits. Stuff. And then we have a uh, cr crescent roll bread. Loaf? Bread. Yeah. And then we have garlic tortilla hack. We have to do a tortilla hack every video. TikTok. And then we have a Snickers. Snack? Oh yeah, like a Snickers rice cake type thing. Yeah, that there's a lot I've of seen a lot. There's, I've seen a lot of rice cakes in general, yeah. which I actually had the pe I had the peanut butter and chocolate rice oh. cake and like freeze it. It's actually freaking delicious. Highly recommend. All right, so, so I'm excited for this. So we'll go breakfast bread, breakfast bread, bread, <laughs> bread dessert. dessert. Sounds like our regular diet. That's my. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna use this bologna as our bologna bacon. So you just buy bologna, eh? I just wanted some on one day. Interesting. I never buy the bologna. It's usually either salami or ham. It's like perfectly crappy. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what bologna is. Yeah. Sorry, bologna. <laughs> we got our country biscuits. And then we got egg. All right. We'll just pop in the toaster. <laughs> Simplest thing ever. Honestly, this is very us. Do you think this needs to be lined? Probably. And we're supposed to split these in half, right? We have to find, isn't that what she did? I think so, but like, is it hard to do? How's no, it going? I found it. Oh, heck. That's beautiful. Okay, and then we gotta like roll it or something, don't we? That big enough? I think so. We just need little ones, right? And it seems like she might've had like the grand ones. Cause there's two different sizes of biscuits, right? Am I wrong about that? There's Grand Crescent rolls. Yeah, but isn't there also the bigger biscuits? biscuits? Isn't there a biscuit pack where there's only six? I could see that. There should be if there isn't. So we just need cheese, some bologna. We literally just stack things now. Yep. Cheese. A little piece of bologna. Right? Yep. I did it. Wow. Satisfying. <laughs> Satisfying. Yeah, I also feel like you could probably just do it by like getting two of these biscuits. You wanna do like rolling a thick one? Cause like, I feel like you could make a bigger one, right? Yeah, let's do a big one too. Okay. Here's your egg. <laughs> Sweet, we gotta slice it up. It's like a little pocket. Yeah. It looks like a it's hand pocket. <laughs> well, maybe we'll seal it with a, a fork. Just there you go. Perfect. Wow. And we just repeat. We're ready. Oh, I can just eat them now? Uh, That's it? <laughs> no. We put garlic powder and melted butter on top. Because obviously. Obviously. I'm going to them in the oven for 8 to 11 minutes. I like them just on the tripod. This is working really well. We did some jumbo ones. We did some panzerati stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is what this is about. Yeah. Testing things. What's next? Bread? We could get our bread assembled. <laughs> Might take a while. It's gonna take so long. What if you did unroll it and then roll it back up? What? What if you unrolled it and put the cheese in it and rolled oh, it Oh, you want, what if you did that in half of it? So Just half of it's plain I, and half of it has cheese. I feel like it could work, right? I think we should try it. Okay. Why not? We're freestyling, what else is new? Okay, I just ripped it apart. All right. <laughs> Oh, good work. We're gonna roll these. I 
think we can do this. Um, where's the seam? Oh, there it is. You just have to be very gentle. Yeah. And maybe press together some of the, so the cheese doesn't seep out. But yeah. it's probably actually not even that so it doesn't, You don't even roll it out that much. What's wrong Wait, with yours? What's wrong with mine? <laughs> it's like this Mine's like overlapping. <laughs> mine was not rolled properly. <laughs> what would have happened? That's like, wait, that doesn't look right, Devin. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so funny. There we go. We're putting cheese in everything today, except for the Snickers thing. We're not going to do that. We're not going to go that far. Hey. <laughs> no. No, we couldn't. No. no. <laughs> oh, this cheese is so greasy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, and then we just roll it up. Like, that never happened. I like it because you kind of want no cheese is in it. It's yeah. just kind of secret cheese. It is. <laughs> yeah, secret cheese. Nothing happened. Here you go. Hey, get in there. I'm sorry. Cheese. Cheese. There we go. Half cheese, half plain. That's how you make bread. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. So do we? Can we bake it at 400? Do you think? We just put it I in think now. We should just try it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll bake it for like 15 minutes first, then we'll check it. Another tortilla hack. How do you feel about this one going into it? I mean, it's, I feel like it's less like a tortilla hack because you're not folding anything. Everything's getting crispy. And also I used to make something like this or my parents used to make something like this, except with one tortilla. Oh. They would do it, they would do it with pita bread or tortillas where you would put like garlic butter and then you would just like pan fry it and then it gets nice and crispy. So it's like a quick garlic bread. Okay. Or like, you know, just a snack. Is three cloves of garlic good? Sure. We can always add some garlic powder too. Oh my gosh, that's so true. What else should we add? <laughs> um, we just keep adding stuff. Chili flakes. <laughs> that didn't cross my mind. It would be really good. Yeah, I can see that. I think this is enough butter. Cause we have to do butter on the top and the bottom. And like, he really spreads he it. He really spreads it. Should I add more butter to this? Cool. Oh. Oh, the oh, biscuits look much better. Brown. Oh, I think they're ready. Oh, gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Honestly, <gasps> oh, 100% we have to make pizza pockets like that. Yeah. 1,000% yeah. yeah. actually. Oh, love garlic. Some chili flakes and a little spice. Oh, spice, spice, spice. Woohoo! Sound like Mario. Woohoo! <laughs> Time for the tortilla hack. Okay, it's not a hack. Whatever it is. <laughs> um, this is beautiful already. <laughs> there we go. That's enough, right? I think so. Oh um, my goodness. Cheesy. Maybe we'll just do parm on top. Yeah, I think so. Cool. That's enough. Yeah. 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 We're working hard today. <laughs> we really are. <laughs> so that you know whether these easy hacks are worth working hard. Oh my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> this looks so good. What's gonna happen? I think it'll melt. <laughs> <laughs> you are really smart. <laughs> I couldn't do this without you. Oh. Okay. Lots of cheese. I tasted the butter, it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's bring this over. You got it? Yeah. Whoa. Do you think you, I'm gonna like zoom in. Can you like open it? Oh, it apart. Wait, come this way a little bit. There you go. Up a little bit. Like this? Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. I mean, the egg doesn't rip apart, but. Um, it looks great. <laughs> I feel like you would have to do that in like little dices to be able to rip it apart mm. nicely. Mm. With bacon too. Mm-hmm. That would be really good. I like it. Wow, there's a lot of space in there actually. Mm -hmm. We could stuff it more. Mm-hmm. Is what I'm learning. Mm-hmm. This is great. This is so good. Yes. I love this. Mm. I bet you could also do this in a muffin tin. Line the bottom of the muffin tin. So it's almost like a pot pie. <laughs> I love it. And then you could actually fill the whole muffin tin and I then love. just put a little top on. I love everything you're saying. <laughs> okay, right. this is delicious. So basically, what we've learned, we use these biscuits and stuff them. Yeah. Stuff some biscuits. With whatever you want. Mm -hmm. You can make a dessert one too. Could you stuff it? 
And then put it in the waffle iron? Yes. <laughs> mm. You have a cheesy waffle. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, these are really good. But yeah, stuff them with more. Yeah. And maybe put some like seasonings in there, like put some fresh herbs, you know? I think all that kind of stuff, delish. I don't know, isn't it easier to slice when it cools? I don't know. I mean, probably, but is it more delicious when it's warm? Is there bread? Is there pockets? They're so good. We haven't tried the big one yet. No. It's looking oily. <laughs> There's a lot going on there. I can't tell if it's getting um, more golden, but oh my gosh, it's getting like- It's melting at least. Yeah. That one big air bubble. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll crisp up the sh top a little bit. Yeah, like, like the edges are getting. Yeah, which I think we want some crisp, right? Yeah. That's the point of garlic bread. It's gotta bread. hold all that garlic together. Garlic bread needs some crunch or crisp. Yeah, yeah. But actually, you know what? It looks like a fun time. It really does. If you just ignore the puddles of grease around it, I think there's potential. Hey, she's cutting bread over there. <laughs> it looks pretty good in there. Is that the cheese? No. Well, it like seeped out, but this isn't the cheese one. No. Looks like... Looks like crescent rolls, to yeah. be honest. Looks like Pillsbury bread. Standard stuff. Okay, good. Good hack. Can um, you uh, get me the bread knife? No. Oh, okay. Okay, no, 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 there's cheese all up in there. All up in there? All up in there, look at it. Oh my gosh, look how fun this is. Oh, it's much softer. I feel like it's yeah. not cooked as much. Yeah, I think the cheese definitely hindered the uh, cooking process. Stop looking at Catherine and look at the cheese. There's the cheese. <laughs> Ready to try? Yeah, what are we trying for? Oh my oh, god, I wish we put was... jalapeno in this. <gasps> oh, yeah. Or like even, I feel like it might, not cheddar cheese, but cream cheese might be nice. It definitely isn't fully cooked. Mm -hmm. This, if you put cheese in it, it needs to be cooked longer and probably at a lower temp because it's pretty golden on the outside. Mm -hmm. But good concept, mm -hmm. you know? That's really nice. Yeah. It's just a crescent roll, but it's like really nice. Oh my God, you could do like a sundried tomato and olive. Oh my God. Oh my God, olive bread. Oh my olive. God. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> That's great. I could eat this. I could keep eating it. We're gonna do a whole video of just Pillsbury hacks. Yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's my favorite Pillsbury product. Is a crust. Because it's got like a little bit more sweetness than the biscuit, right? Is that yeah. what it is? And it's just, it's got a little bit more butteriness to it. Mm, the butteriness. <laughs> 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 the butteriness. Okay. I just cut it up, right? Cut it up. It sounds crunchy. It's like a really thin crust pizza. <laughs> yeah. All right, more bread and cheese. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh, it's very warm. Okay. Oh, that is just grease everywhere. Okay. Uh, it's hot. Why are you doing it? It's hot. No. <laughs> like, it's fine. It tastes good. But garlic bread is significantly better. I want more bread. You want more bread to support I don't this. want just cheese. <laughs> I mean, it is yummy, but it would be better on bread. Yeah. Yeah. Like, let's take this spread, mm -hmm. all the stuff, and put it in a crescent roll. Put it in a crescent roll, love. I'm there for it. I don't like, to me, garlic bread isn't just a vehicle for cheese and garlic. I, I want, want some the bread. And some more crunchiness. Like, it's not I actually crunchy enough. Cheese is so heavy that you need to balance it out with bread. We're gonna need to balance all this out with uh, Snickers, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You are correct. I'm scared. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine cutting up a tortilla into strips with all this stuff on it, baking that. Yeah. So you have really crunchy strips and then putting on mac and cheese. Yes, okay. Now imagine <laughs> this. <laughs> okay, ready? You take the tortilla. Yeah. You kinda like cut it into rounds almost and yeah. then put it in a muffin tin. Spread it with all this. And then when it comes out, you stuff it with something. Like mac and cheese. Interesting. Oh, I love that. Like a little mac and cheese bowl. Wow. That's coated in garlic bread. I love that. I need to sit down. Yeah, I actually really need to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it came through. Don't bite the stick. Okay. 
We're making the Snickers stuff. I wonder if this is gonna hold the chocolate and peanuts. Do we need to double stick it? Or? No, I think we'll try it and see. We'll be fine. Oh, so they did it in peanut butter too. Peanut butter, peanuts, and then chocolate. I think their rice cakes are smaller. Oh yeah. Like I think they're mini. Mini? Like they just, I feel like, I don't know, they just, something about it, like it how deep is that thing? Well yeah, actually that's a good point. What do we do? We're just gonna try. We're going all out. Maybe we'll do a shallow dish of melted chocolate and just go like this okay. instead of dipping it. Yes. Because okay. I think dipping it would be really difficult to get I back out. I think so. I think instead of, um, because like the peanut butter was really liquidy. Yeah. I think maybe we, we could, could just like spread it. it. Yeah. Is this on? Uh, probably, yeah. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, wow, yeah, look at this. How much peanut butter but do I But I need use? some parchment paper. You're moving fast. Chocolate's not even melted. So I, I forgot! But we're so sorry. I am chaos right now. I'll stop. It's okay, you're just excited. I like the, um... Initiative. Initiative. Thank you. A plus for initiative. Um... A plus. Needs improvement for planning. Wow, so much work. <laughs> We're so lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! <laughs> I think we need peanut butter on both sides. What? She just, like, they just dipped it in. Or are we just doing one side? Because how I've done other rice cakes with peanut butter is I just put peanut butter and then cover it in chocolate and only on one side. Oh. Instead of making, like, a ch whole chocolate covered thing. I don't know. I don't know either. Okay, go for it. Do you think this is enough to make them stick? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm oh my god, that. yeah. Okay. Well, let's, there we go. Let me get the pan ready for yeah. you. Yeah. And then I'll coat it in chocolate, I guess. Here, I'm going to come over to that. Yeah, that's good. We should swap. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do this. Yep. Yeah. So I'm just dunking this? I think so. Oh god. Okay. Oh, I oh. We'll need to oh spoon my gosh. for the bottom. Oh, oh god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're just going to spoon it. We're. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> How do people do this without the peanuts falling off? This is what we're here to find out. Yeah, this was this was a lie. Also, like this is getting heavy. Oh, it's very heavy already. I feel like we needed to thin out the chocolate, maybe with a little coconut oil. Oh my gosh! Crap. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, but I still think this is gonna be delicious. You're right. And it actually looks pretty good still. You are making it's a it lot of chocolate though. Oh. To get everything coated? You're making it work. Yeah. So we gotta do with TikTok. Just make it work. Make it work. Okay. I think that's good enough. What if I try to roll the sides? Go for it. I'm losing control. I'm rolling away. I'm losing <laughs> control. So I'll just put this in the freezer? Yeah, it's like 10 minutes and we should be good. Once the chocolate hardens. Okay, not too bad to hold. Uh, it's just like in the TikTok. Obviously. Just don't look the back. What do you mean? Ah! <laughs> it's leaning a little forward. It's quite heavy. All right, ready? Yes. Do you just bite into it? Yeah, it's good. Peanut butter chocolate and something crunchy? Delicious. I wouldn't call it a Snickers though. No. It's just peanut butter and chocolate. Would you make it again? Yeah, I'm making it all week, just oh. without the peanuts. It's a really nice sweet snack when you don't want just like a full on chocolate bar. Mm. I actually really enjoy these. I usually just do a thin layer of peanut butter and a thin layer of chocolate and some salt on top. Mmm. And it's really nice. It's honestly just such a nice sweet treat. I love how much crunch the rice cake offers. So we don't even need these sticks. No, you absolutely don't need these sticks. Okay. What was your favorite? I definitely know your favorite. Uh, the breakfast biscuits. Mm -hmm. 100%. So much versatility. Yeah. Not only were those good, but they just opened up a world of opportunity. Yeah, they really did. Everything was good, though. The only thing I would change is that. The garlic. Yeah, tortilla. that thing. I just would make garlic bread. Yes. I and wouldn't make the tortilla again. No. I would make these differently. How would you make them? Um, I don't know. I wish... We could find mini mm -hmm. Ritz cakes to make them with, and then I think they'd be perfect. Yeah, the ones that come like they have the flavored like chip ones, mm -hmm. that size would be great. Yeah, because then they're just little poppable snacks. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
crescent roll bread. I would experiment with. Mm-hmm. Filling it with more stuff. Mm-hmm. But garlic bread filling in that. Yes. <laughs> Three or four. It's ain't a lot bad. of cheese. Uh, a lot of cheese. A lot of bread. Too much cheese. That was the theme of this one. Not enough bread. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know other TikTok recipes that you're skeptical of or you've tried and they change your life. Oh yeah, those ones. Because those biscuits are about to change all of our lives. And our friends' lives. Yeah, because we're going to make them all kinds of ways. Pete's pockets. <laughs> we're going to make them all kinds of ways. <laughs> and that's a wrap. <laughs> wrap. Don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, share. Did we the say that already? Tick has been talked. The talk has been ticked. That too. <laughs> yeah. Share this with somebody else who likes TikTok recipes or dislikes them. Yeah, actually, I think anyone who, whatever feelings they have towards TikTok recipes, I think they'd enjoy this. And. Yeah, that's all. I don't know what else to say. Get off TikTok. You're on there too much. We're encouraging a behavior that we are trying no, to. No, I'm saying to eat these recipes, not saying to go on to TikTok. Well. Because you can find these recipes on other places too. They're also hardly recipes. <laughs> Were these too simple? I don't care. <laughs>